Hey there friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie and you're watching AKA Mommy. And at the beginning of this year, I did a video sharing with you all of my personal and business goals for 2018. And today I wanted to give you just a quick little update and let you know how I did for the month of January and also let you know what my new word for February is going to be. All right, friends, so I'm going to try to make this really quick. I'm just going to hit on the ones that I was really good at and maybe tell you about some of them that I didn't do so well at and I need to work on. So I was able to read my Bible every day. You guys know that that's a really important thing to me, a very um, important part of my faith. And so I did that. Really proud of myself for that. For marriage, one of my, well, my biggest goal for 2018 is to make sure that I go on dates with my husband more often. So we are going to do one date night every single month and we did go on a date night for January. It was a lot of fun. It was something that we really just enjoyed and are really looking forward to doing more of this year. My biggest parenting goal for the year 2018 is to spend more one-on-one -on -one time with each of my four children. I took my oldest daughter on a date night in January or a date day. We went during the daytime. And we had some fun together. We went and got her ears pierced, her cartilage pierced. She's been wanting to do that for a while and I knew that it would be really special for her. And we went to lunch together and we just enjoyed being in each other's presence and talking and having a great time. And so in February, I'll be taking another one of my kids out on a date as well. So one of my personal goals for 2018, one that pretty much just relates to me, is that I want to continue reading and reading often. I am still reading pretty much just the same as I was um, at the end of last year. I have finished one book and I'm in the process of reading two others. And when I say reading, I mean I'm actually physically reading one and I'm listening to one. So I'm hoping that I can continue this trend because I really, really, really enjoy reading. It just really calms me and I enjoy learning. So under the category of home, I will tell you guys that I have been decluttering some of the things from within our home. I am going to be sharing a video with you really soon about my decluttering process for 2018, but I have been working on that. It's a much slower process this year than it was for me last year, but it is what I'm working on every single week and I'm really, really making some good progress. So for the area of health, this is the one that I did not do as great as I was hoping to. Um, I have definitely increased my water intake, which was a big goal of mine. I've been taking my multivitamins and all of my supplements, my fish oils and everything every single day. So that's been really good. But I made a huge, huge goal for myself this year to walk or run a thousand miles. And um, I have not hit my January uh, number that I needed to hit. And so I'm hoping that I'm not going to have to adjust this goal, but regardless, I'm still chugging along. We had some extremely cold temperatures at the beginning of January this year, extremely uncommon for where I live. And to be really honest with you, I just didn't, I don't have a treadmill. Um, so I, I have to do all of this outside and I don't have a gym membership anymore. So yeah, I just really didn't want to go outside and walk or run when it was 15 degrees. That's a little bit cold for me. I'm not used to that and so um, I did not get to start off the year really strong with this one I'm a, coming into it a little bit later but I am determined to keep working on this one and I will let you guys know how it's going so in the area of financial, we are still chugging along, paying off debt. I am really excited that we are very, very close to paying off a few more of our credit cards. Those should be paid off, hopefully by the next time that I update you guys. And that's gonna feel really amazing. I also have really been focusing on our budget and sticking to our budget. I've been trying to cut back on our grocery spending. As you guys have noticed here on my channel, I talk about that a lot because I feel like as a homemaker, our grocery budget is one way that I can really make a big impact on our finances. And so I really, really, really moving into this year wanted to cut down on that as much as possible, cut out any extraneous spending. And so I've been working on that a lot. You guys have watched me go through that process, but I've made some really good progress in that area and I'm very excited about it. I've also been using different savings opportunities like Ebates and Ibotta and Savings Catcher from Walmart and just anything and everything that I can use to save extra money, I have absolutely been taking advantage of. 
Another big one in the area of financial for me is that I wanted to start putting away money every single week or um, we do it every week because my husband gets paid every week, but we take a very small part of his paycheck and I've been putting it into a sinking fund that is specifically for Christmas because this year I do not want for Christmas to be at all stressful. Um, I just basically want to have the money to do whatever we want to buy gifts and do Christmas pictures and possibly, you know, if we want to travel to see family or anything, I want to have the money available to do that. And so I wanted to start out this year putting aside a little bit of money each and every paycheck. And we've done a great job at that as well. So the last area that I tend to make goals for myself is for my YouTube channel. My biggest goal for YouTube in the year 2018 is to be more consistent with putting out videos. And my goal is two to three videos per week. I aim for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. There were a couple of weeks during January that I actually put out four videos. Um, but the very last week in January, that would be the week that you're watching this, I didn't have a video Monday or Wednesday because we just had some stuff come up and I didn't have a chance to sit down and film. So I'm still working on it. I'm still working on the consistency. I'm still working on learning um, you know how to time videos and all of that but I am really proud of myself that I put out as many videos as I did in January and I have another full calendar of videos planned for you guys for the month of February. So that's going to be it for the update on my goals. Let me go ahead and share with you my um, word for the year 2018 is B. So every single month, I'm choosing a different area of my life that I want to be more conscious of and really put in a lot of effort. In January, my um, attention was focused on being content because I know right after the holidays, we tend to kind of still be in that mindset of I need more and more and more and I really didn't want to go down that that path so I wanted to be very content with what we had um, and I think I did a really good job I really didn't spend a whole lot of money on anything extra in the month of January and I'm proud of myself for that so for February, I know it's going to sound a little bit cliche, but my focus for February is going to be love. I want to be more loving. I want to really focus on having the words that I say be loving and the actions that I display be loving. And I want to just focus more on how I treat other people. Am I treating others with love or am I treating others with judgment or possibly with, um, hostility or, or even selfishness? Am I being overly selfish? I want to work on treating others well and making sure that I'm displaying love to all of those around me. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope that you have enjoyed this small little update on my 2018 goals. I'm not 100% sure if I will update you every single month. I might. You guys let me know what you think about that. I may just do quarterly updates, but because we are still at the beginning of the year and I really wanted to start off strong with all of these goals, I've been working really hard on some of them. I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update. So I hope that you have enjoyed. Make sure that you leave me a comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would join my little family here on YouTube. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. All of those links are down below for you guys. Until next time, I hope that you guys are all doing very, very well and that you're very blessed. Take care.